Hello Colorado Springs, I'm Matt Geo, and today we're going to visit one of the best and most highly overlooked things to do in Colorado Springs, Gold Camp Road. When I have visitors in town, this is the first place we go. Whether you're a resident, thinking about visiting or moving here, you need to know about Gold Camp Road. Gold Camp Road is conveniently located on the west side of the Springs, accessible from 21st Street through Bear Creek Canyon via Lower Gold Camp Road. There are several picnic areas in Bear Creek. If you have time, stop and check them out. They're great for photo shoots or just hanging out. Gold Camp Road was originally a mining trail between Colorado Springs and Cripple Creek for hauling, well, everything you needed for the mining effort. We're going to talk about mining and how it relates to the modern day Gold Camp in an entire episode. Today, if you drive up in the daytime on a summer day, you'll find the road full of hikers, mountain bikers, cyclists, hikers, runners, etc. If you like the outdoors, this is the place for you. I like to reminisce about a time when this place was a secret and you could go up there for a peaceful drive, alone. There's a lot more traffic up there, but on a Monday or Tuesday around noon, there's minimal human traffic. In case you're like me, you prefer to avoid the crowds. It's worth the short 15 minute drive from I-25. It is a nice way to get away from town, even if you don't leave the car. You'll find many parked cars just hanging out. Professional and amateur photographers also flock to the area. In the evening, the view sparkles from lights from all over 600,000 residents and businesses. You can watch aircraft take off and land in the distance from Colorado Springs Municipal Airport or spot the Colorado Springs Police Department at work. The red and blue lights can be seen across the landscape. They tend to twinkle a little bit more. When it comes to crime on Gold Camp Road, the truth is people are stupid everywhere. Gold Camp Road is cool, so it attracts more people. And sure, a good 50% of them are stupid. That typically isn't a problem until you include alcohol or marijuana. The road is closed right now due to crime and cars tend to get dumped off the edge of the road, sometimes with humans on board. Various reports put the death toll on Gold Camp Road to be around 160 or higher. This includes accidents and murders. This dates back to the early 1900s. A database of deaths across the country began in 1900, but it wasn't really adopted until around 1925 in most cases. It's worth mentioning though, because this gorgeous one-car trail by day is supposedly haunted by night. Naturally, it attracts the paranormal crowd. Most of this footage takes place at Point Sublime. This is where the pavement ends and you travel on a dirt road. This area is full of ridge lines, spurs, and draws. Amazing rock formations and wildlife are spotted frequently. Usually black bear, deer, sometimes elk. I was on my adventure bike one day and ended up behind an elk for about a quarter of a mile. I didn't see him at first, but then at eye level I saw his bright white ass fur. Keep in mind I was standing up on my motorcycle, leaning back, and really trying to stay vertical in really deep gravel. Then he disappeared around a corner and by the time I got around it, he was gone. Point Sublime may be the most scenic point in the area. The rocky terrain makes you contemplate everyone that has fallen here before. At Point Sublime alone in recent years, there have been several deaths, from hikers to children. The terrain is unforgiving to say the least. With even a small amount of common sense, you'll have a great trip. All you have to do is Google Point Sublime. In a short time, you'll be on top of the world looking down at the Broadmoor. There is pavement all the way up to Point Sublime if you choose not to drive on the dirt road. It is level and plenty safe. El Paso County does a really good job with the roads up there. It's a little bumpy, but I bet either one of those death trap smart cars can make it. When you do get there, look around a bit. There are so many places to poke around or do a little rock climbing. There's a 0% chance that you won't leave without a few pictures. On the upcoming episodes, we're going to talk about a few hidden gems on Gold Camp animal encounters and attacks, murders, rapes, paranormal activity, oh, and recreation, I guess. We'll take an in-depth look at trails and where they go and their difficulty levels. You may never need to hike them, thanks to me. You're welcome in advance. I'll see you next time. This is Matt Geo. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.